Hi, it's Laurie Neverman from Common Sense Home, and today we're going to talk about destinking your washing machine. Now, thankfully, we got this unit uh, a little over a year ago, and it is not stinky, but our old washer used to stink to high heaven. And I've gotten questions from a number of you about how to get that stink out, so we're going to go through step by step, starting at the top, working our way down to the basin, and this unit has a drain, so we'll go through that, and then we've also got a treatment to run through a wash cycle to flush the whole thing out. So first off, you want to start at the top. You can always you know, wipe down, remove scum, hiding in quarters and whatnot. On some units, this whole tray will lift out. This particular one does not do that. But you can lift out any pieces that do come out and make sure you get any scum, build up, whatever out of here. Use a toothpick. toothpick use a q-tip and I got an old sock for washcloth so you get in there wipe around take it out wash it out in the sink whatnot so clean up here because scum will tend to collect in the back um, over time I noticed our our old one especially would build up a film of bacteria in the back it's gross looking slimy and smelled bad if you use a vinegar rinse or a deodorizer in your wash cycle on a regular basis that'll help keep that under control which I've been doing more conscientiously with this unit to avoid the stink. Alright next we're going to move down into the basin itself. With me hon? Now in your wash drum you'll notice over time that scum will build up and I'm going to wipe around here so you take an old sock, we have cats, and I have a hairy husband and hairy sons. So we get, and of course, sometimes mine shed too off my head. So you're going to want to clean out all those edges where the scum can build up. Wash off or wipe off all the soap scum. And you can put a little dish soap in your water. I just wet this sock down because I did this oh, about a week ago. So it's not too gross. But you can use a half and half mix of white vinegar and warm water to deal with any soap scum. The vinegar is acidic, so it'll help break that down. And then you want to go in here and wipe down your gaskets. Now over time, and especially if you do something like wash a cat blanket or a dog blanket if you have dogs, the hair will build up in this gasket. And you can see definite hairball action and you want to make sure to go in here and really go looking for any yuck caught in the crannies because the yuck will ferment and it will stink and peel back in there and sweep it all down to center and see we've got nasty honking hairballs and as I said I just cleaned this last week but I wash one of the cat blankets. Now sometimes what will happen here is these drain holes will actually get plugged with scum or with hair. Now to get rid of that you can use a tweezers to go in there and go hairball plucking like so. Ew. Oh I have a trash can back behind me. I'm not just randomly chucking it on the floor just for the record. Or this is a little brush. It's got a triangular end here and a long skinny end here. You can take that. This is actually for cleaning pastry tubes, but it does amazingly well at removing hairballs. Ew, that is just disgusting. Like what the heck is growing in the washer? So you get in there, give a little spin, and remove hairy, stinky, nasty goop. And oh, oh, that is just wrong. Yeah, okay. Number one. Twist to number two. Oh yeah, that, that's gross. And number three. Oh yeah, all the drains. I said I gave it a wipe down last week, but I didn't get into the crannies. And sure enough, I got El grossness hanging out in the corners. And all this stuff 
you know, it's got soap scum, it's got dead skin flakes, it's got whatever your three-year-old ran through last week. I'll hang out in there. It's a wonderful gr uh, growing area for bacteria. So I'm going to wash this and decontaminate it very thoroughly when we're done. Next up, moving on down, and I'm going to close this ugh, to get it out of my way. Now what I like about this particular unit is that it has a drain here. And this was a big problem. I'm going to take off the door because we've got this drain tray that catches if there's an overflow. It actually funnels it into the drain instead of just letting it run all over the place. Our old unit did not have this. I highly recommend if you're going shopping for a front loading washer, you get one with this little drain thing. Because in Wonder of Wonders, you just take that out, take the cover off, unscrew this little drain thing here. Oh, that is a really special smell, very special. It's, it's a shame that the camera does not have smell-o-vision. I don't know if you can see the chunks in there, but there are bacteria film chunks floating around in here. I'm going to cap this off with my finger. It's about half full. And dump it in the toity behind me. And then finish draining. You don't want your whatever basin you're draining into to get so full that when you pick it up, you slosh the stink water all over the place. Because that's nasty. It is just nasty. And with these front, front loaders, there's always going to be some standing water in the bottom of your unit. So, like I said, preferably you really want one that has a little drain attached like this. Because this way I can get in here every couple of weeks and I drain this bad boy out and then the stink is not hanging around in the bottom of my washer. It's dumped into the toy, flushed away, and I am no longer dealing with rampant bacteria growth breeding the big stinky. So it's a little musty, but not too bad. And then I'm going to go in here. This unit also has a little spin out filter and that catches hairballs and other scumminess. So what I typically do Pick off all the hairballs again, and I'll give this a wash in the sink normally, but for the sake of expediency, since we are on camera, but oh yeah, yeah, that's that's just slimy. And really, it has only been a couple weeks since I did this. It is amazing how much the scum builds up. So I'm going to wipe this down, but again, once you get the hairballs into the garbage, you would certainly wash this in the sink to get all the scummy bits off. And just because my sink is over that direction and my cameraman is up here, hi honey, I am gonna just wipe off some of this goo. All right, the worst of it is off. And you wanna probably catch a little, put a little rag here as you pull this cleaner with the lint trap because odds are there will be just a little bit of water retained in here which will want to run out when you pull the trap. So I'm going to get that fitted back in here. And when you put this drain trap back in here, the hairball catcher, you want to make sure that it's snugly seated, just like you're putting on a gas cap. One time, one time, I cleaned it, and I did not sit it properly. And the next thing you know, yeah, the catch basin was filled with water, and we had a fun time. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna move back up top side and we're gonna run the cleaning cycle. All right, I'm gonna close that. All right, I have a couple of different options here. I got this from the EnviroCleanse people. It's actually a, di um, a front loading washer deodorizer. And I normally use their laundry enhancer, which is amazing at removing stink from laundry. So I think that's also been helping keep the stink out of my washer too, along with regular maintenance. But if you have a front loader that does not have a drain, you might wanna try this. Um, it's got several, I'm guessing, 
Yeah, this has got three cycles in it, it actually says on it. And to use this, you want to give it a shake and make sure that everything is mixed up. And I'm going to get half a cup measured here and get that loaded in the detergent dispenser. And then this actually gets run on just the warm cycle. You don't have to run it on the sanitized cycle. So I'm going to do that in a minute. If you don't have a specialized product, you know, the de-stinker stuff, you can also, for front loaders, use two cups of plain white vinegar and then run the sanitized cycle. And for top loaders, four cups and as hot as you can get it. You don't want any laundry in there right now because this is just trying to deal with the stink inside the washer. So I'm gonna fire this up. Yay! And just put it on a regular wash. As I said, the EnviroCleanse directions are as follows. Regular and high efficiency washers, da 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 da. Front load washers, remove clothing or any items from the washing machine before using product. Shake product vigorously before each use. Add half cup to the wash tub or detergent dispenser. For best results, use on regular load size, cycle, normal agitation, and warm water. Maintenance cycles can be used. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations. So, boom, off we go. And fire it up. And I'm gonna let it run and do its thing. And that will help flush out any lingering odors anywhere in the machine. So again, to get the stink out of your washer, ideally, if you're purchasing a new washer, get one that has the bottom drain option because that will help get that stack or that will allow you to get that stagnant water out of there, which is generally a big part of the problem. Then clean your water washer thoroughly from top to bottom. Get all the nooks and crannies in your dispenser area. Get all the nooks and crannies in your wash tub. If you can access the bottom and clean it out, do so. And finally, either something like a dedicated deodorizer product or white vinegar. If you don't have either one of these, you can start with bleach, but I'm not a huge bleach fan because, well, it has other issues too. It tends to eat into your um, rubber gaskets and things. But you can use a half, a half a cup of bleach in a hot cycle first and then follow up with the two cups of white vinegar in a hot cycle. Because the vinegar will do a lot to get rid of any of your hard water and soap deposits that are built up inside the machine. And that is pretty much it. Um, I've got more information in the post on generally working with your washer. And so you can check it out. Any comments, questions, leave me a note below. Thanks for watching.